Hi, I'm Francis. Welcome to Dungeon Synthesis. In this series, we're going to learn how to use Subtractive Synthesis to create a simple Dungeon Synth track. In Subtractive Synthesis, we act kind of like a sculptor, and we start with a harmonically rich waveform that we get from an oscillator, and then we chip away at it using a variety of methods. For our first episode, we're just going to look at the oscillator section, so we can hear what kind of sounds we can start with. Let's check them out. This is a triangle wave. We can change the pitch by octave, in case you have a rat living in your dungeon. And we can change the pitch by step using a keyboard or other controller. I'm going to leave this one in this range. Next we can change the waveform of the oscillator. So I'll switch between three of them right now. Triangle, sawtooth, and square. I'm going to stick with the sawtooth waveform for now. That's really good for bass sounds and that's what I'm going to start with for our track. If we want, we can add a second oscillator to the sound, and that can be a great tool for fattening the sound a little bit. I'm going to add a second sawtooth waveform in our mixer section. And I'm going to turn that one down by an octave by adjusting the range of the oscillator. Now let's see how I can fit a sound like that into a track. Okay, here we are in my little dungeon where I do my recordings. I'm going to start by putting my glasses on and my headphones on so I can see and hear what I'm doing. So I use Reaper, but any DAW should work. I'm going to start out by bringing in the MIDI file from the level one dungeon song that we heard in the intro. I'm making sure that I'm expanding it to separate MIDI tracks and I'm importing the tempo map so the song plays at the right speed. If I play it right now, we won't hear anything because the MIDI isn't controlling a synthesizer yet. So to take care of that, I'm going to add an instance of a synth plugin to this track. I'm going to use this one called Reasynth because it comes with Reaper. And Reaper has a great free trial, so you can follow along with this even if you've never made a song in your computer. I'm going to copy it to each of these other tracks. And we can see that we have a synth for bass, for our plucks, and for our flute. Let's start by listening to the track. Ugh. The notes are great because I wrote them, but the synths sound like a dial-up modem, which is giving me horrible flashbacks. I'm going to mute all the tracks except for the bass and pick a waveform for the bass track. Earlier, I told you that a sawtooth waveform is great for bass. You can make a good bass sound with any shape, but I'll end up using the sawtooth for this anyway. For reference, here's a square and a triangle. I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to turn it down more because that is a pretty loud waveform by itself. And now I'm going to add a waveform to each of these other tracks. For the plucks I'll use a square wave. And for the flutes I'll use a triangle. Let's hear the track all together now. Plucks are really loud. And the whole track is still a bit harsh, but it sounds a lot better. Next time we'll learn how to use a filter to soften up those sounds a little bit. See you then.